while piloting the Immigration and Passport Amendment Bill 2022. Immigration Minister the Honorable A.P. Chet Green said there is a significant population of people living in the country whose immigration status is not regularized. Those people, he adds, are primarily residents of CARICOM member states. To this end, the government has announced an amnesty period throughout the months of March and April. To have them, Mr. Speaker, regularized and brought, quote-unquote, above ground to make open contributions to national life and economy, it is something I think is timely and something which all Antiguan and Barbudans, from the feedback we've had, welcome and appreciate. People residing ordinarily in Antigua and Barbuda for at least four years will be eligible for residency status. Those residing for at least seven years are eligible for citizenship. We have seen amnesties in the past where unfortunate statements of lend you um and take them back and so forth were made. In this instance, we speak a very genuine attempt to regularize persons who are living here illegally, to regularize persons who will be making contributions to national and economic development and persons who have lived through this pandemic period, making their contributions to Antigua and Barbuda. Prime Minister the Honorable Gaston Brown echoed similar sentiments. PM Brown says the change aligns itself with the Antigua Barbuda Labour Party's long-standing position on immigration. This country, Mr. Speaker, has been built partially on immigrant labour, primarily CARICOM nationals. I mean, Dominicans, Monstrations and so on, they've been coming here from time immemorial. Opposition leader the Honorable Jamal Pringle also expressed his support for the move to regularize the immigration status of people residing illegally in the Twin Island states. However, he hopes to see more people becoming eligible for the initiative. Let us look at the fundamental issues that are causing persons not to be in status and we try to plug those gaps so that persons can make meaningful contributions. People benefiting from the program will also not be liable to pay money owed to the government during the time in which their status was illegal. Rakib Aparicio reporting for ABS News.